Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure that you're subscribed as I upload multiple videos every single week. So getting straight into the video, this is going to be my waist trainer, like review, update, whatever, whatever. So maybe like two months ago, I got a waist trainer because you know, I saw all the cute girls getting waist trainers and they said that the waist was snatched. Obviously my waist was already pretty like, snatched <laughs> yeah it was already it was all right like there was there's there was nothing wrong with my waist let's be honest like it was fine but i just thought let me see what it can do for me like is it gonna make it more like whoa 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 and so i got a waist trainer from amazon and i believe it was less than 20 pounds i will definitely put a picture of the one i got and i'll definitely link that as well in the description but yeah, it was less than 20 pounds. It came fairly quickly. I got size medium and I think the sizing for medium was um, 29 inches to 27 inches. And when I measured my waist, like before I ordered it, it was actually 29. And this was without like pulling it, like without it, you know, pulling it tight. But when I did like really pull, when I pulled it to the tightest, my, it would absolutely go. It was 27. So my non-stretch, like just without, you know, pulling in is 29 and pulling in it's 27. So I was just going to see, you know, how it goes. I was actually going to only wear it for one month, but I thought, let me just do a two months because that's more thorough. That's more time to see if there will be any results. So that's what I did. So when I first got it, it was actually pretty uncomfortable. Um, I felt like I couldn't breathe. Um, I did mention, you know, I had some like bad side effects because I just couldn't breathe. So I sort of put it to the side for about a week and then I got back into it when I felt a bit better and I started to wear it. So when I wore it, I wore like a, like a tank top, like a, you know, the cheap tank tops from Primark. Like I wore one of those and I actually put the waist trainer over it. So what I did was because usually when I go to work, I'm working for about 12 hours, 12 hour shifts. So when I'm getting ready for work at maybe around seven, it's already on. And when I get home about 10, then I take it off. So that is like a really long time to have it on. But, you know, I only work maybe three times a week. So I actually only did it three or four times in the week. So it was not like terrible. And some days I didn't wear it for that whole time. I'll, you know, have a few hours break and then put it back on when I can be bothered so so that's how I wore it um I didn't really wear it on my days off because on my days off I was just trying to have a good time I didn't want anything squeezing me I also didn't wear it to bed don't wear it to bed because I tried to do that thinking oh my god let, let it work its magic whilst I'm sleeping but no don't don't wear it to bed I promise you it's so dangerous so I am just going to talk about whether you know my results now and if I feel like it's worked. So I did measure my waist today. It's the same. <laughs> yeah, like my waist is literally the same. Like nothing has changed. Maybe visibly, it might look visibly smaller, but you know, on the tape measurer, it's the bloody same. So it's literally been two months for me it's the same um i'll probably put pictures on the screen so you guys can let me know if there's any difference but for me from what i can see it looks the same like my waist has always been smaller in proportion to like my thighs and my hips so i don't see a difference maybe you guys might see a difference but i generally don't see a difference so that's one thing we have to say about the waist you know, personally for me it didn't well I don't think it worked and if it did what i noticed was when i took it off my waist looked whoa like it looked so like snatched but maybe two hours later it would like just you know go back to its original form so like my opinions about the waist trainer is that i think it is a temporary thing it's not going to be a long-term thing it's like you're going to have to keep wearing it all of the time to get your waist to stay that way so and i when i say it's temporary i mean like within hours your waist will slowly start going back to normal and also the squeezing is very like uncomfortable and i know that 
there are some bad side effects as in your organs will start to shift so the tighter and tighter you go there won't be any rooms for your organs and they will start to you know all, all, you know go in all different places which is actually dangerous it's dangerous for you know if you're trying to have kids if you want to get pregnant or if you are pregnant obviously don't wear waist trainers if you're pregnant but if you do want to have kids in the future i would say don't wear a bloody waist trainer because once your organs are all over the place your baby won't have any any room but you know if you've already had kids and you're done having kids then you could try it i don't know but personally for me i don't know if it's going to be something i'm going to be doing like long run like just closing things off one thing i will say is if you do want a small waist and you want a small waist that will last you know obviously we're not doing stuff for it to last you know two months we want it to last a lifetime so if you do want long-term results and you want a small waist and you want it to last long term i would just say you just have to lose weight simple as that like my waist before to my waist now is ridiculously different like ridiculously different so i'm sorry that obviously if you are going towards the waist trainer you are obviously trying to camouflage or conceal your actual belly sorry <laughs> you yeah, just trying to conceal your actual belly and i'm just saying that's not the answer because it's like just putting a plaster it's like having covid and then just putting a plaster on your nose and being like yep there's a plaster i'm cured now that's not how it works so you actually have to you know dig deeper and actually get something that's actually going to help you so and i would say just don't panic because on my channel i have so 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 many videos on weight loss i've got my weight loss tips which just breaks it down to you exactly what you need to do and i promise you will be successful exactly what you need to do to lose weight i've got my weight loss journey which tells you like dates of how i lost weight and my story and that one is very very detailed and personal to me and i will definitely recommend that video if you need a bit of motivation if you just want to see my whole journey from start to finish i will definitely recommend that you go and watch that video um, and then I have things like what I eat in a day. I have home workout routines, gym workout routines, just tips on like different diets, intermittent fasting, OMAD, my special weight loss drink. So I would just say, if you do want like long lasting effects, all you have to do is just go on your weight loss journey. Everything, all the materials, all the content, all the help that you need is right here. Even if you want to talk to me personally, I don't mind. Like, just message me on Instagram and I will do my absolute best to try and respond in a timely manner. So, don't like panic. I know this was not what you wanted to see. I know you probably wanted the oh my god, I you know, I shrunk my waist 10 inches in one week. That is not even that's not even possible. It is not possible so i'm sorry to break your heart but in 2021 you know i i'm not trying to lie to you guys and all i'm gonna say is just go on your weight loss journey this is like there's no other time to go on a weight loss journey like everything is bloody closed like you can't go anywhere you can't go clubbing so just you know make the most of a bad situation which was definitely what i did i made the most out of you know not being able to go outside and things like that so if you're still like now debating should i get a waist trainer should i lose weight i would say definitely lose weight and you can also wear the waist trainer whilst you're losing weight but limit like the amount of times that you do wear it don't wear it all the time because another thing is it does make your core muscles weak because it's being squeezed so you're not actually using them it will make your core muscles weak and if it's like and if it's a thing where you want abs because i definitely want abs um it would reduce your abs significantly because you're weakening your core muscles which is what you need you know to get those abs to get those gains so if you are considering that okay now you've watched this video what am i gonna do do i buy it do i not buy it i think that is entirely up to you if you're not trying to lose weight and you just want a snatch waist give it a go but obviously make sure that you take caution make sure that you watch other videos make sure that you go just do your own research do your own personal research because i'm not a professional everything i am saying in this video is simply from doing it it's simply simply from my own experiences so you know take it all with a big flap and just so or whatever but yeah i guess that's it i don't really have much more to say but it didn't work i started at 29 and now um 29 without stretching and now i'm still 29 so you know Oh yeah, um, 
and a little background just if you're wondering like what is my height what is my size like my size is so awkward because if it like i fit in size 8 and i also fit in size 10 so if a thing doesn't have any stretch like jeans or something like that like and it has absolutely no stretch i would say i'll need a size 10. if it does have stretch like you know a material like this then size 8 will be better for me because my body is just like really different like sizes like my upper body i would say is much smaller than my lower body so it is what it is but that's the end of the video guys i hope you gained something from this video if you did like it give it a thumbs up and leave a comment for me just let me know about your experiences on the waist trainer or which waist trainer that you're using i think the one that i used was the nine boned or something like that um yeah leave all your comments down below have a nice positive conversation don't be a hater um make sure you subscribe to <laughs> make sure you subscribe as well and i will see you guys in my next video love you lots and lots